So how is the inner teacher triggered? We're repeating the same thing more or less, but how do you trigger the inner teacher, the inner guide? By listening. By listening. By listening to everything that is happening without calling it bad or good. One, you're not causing it. If you're depressed or angry, you didn't say, well, I think I'm going to get depressed now. <laughs> you know, things happen. So learn to listen. You see, what is it that I want from this? What is it that I expect from this? What is it that, you see, what, what is there? But don't reach an answer. If you try to reach an answer, it becomes another chikubriku, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. I have a question. We're, we're, <clears throat> we're exploring going into the experience to uh, go back to the source, but also nothing matters. So why bother exploring the experience at all? Why not? be, abide in the uh, knowing that it's all smoke and mirrors and playing hide and seek with itself. And that's so the point to get to, you see. When stuff is happening, it matters to us. Mm -hmm. And the point is by listening to it, we find it really doesn't matter. It is that, that pull that yearning towards that ultimate sense, that ultimate being, you see. And yeah, in time we begin to see, I am not that noise. I am not that noise at all. But the moment you realize you're not that noise at all, you fully, fully recognize that, that silence will speak to you. And that's what, what, what I'm referring to as the inner guide, the teaching. And that teaching comes as a feeling knowing. Now when I said a voice, to me, it's loud because I've, I've, I trust it so much, you know, the, the presence of Bhagavan, I just feel it very, very much alive. Over the years it has become that way, because I trust it. But it is not a physical thing, it is not, it is a feeling knowing. A feeling because, it is not an emotional feeling, you just feel it. Just like right now, I ask you, how do you know you exist? You say, well, because I know. It's not an emotion. It's not a thought, it's not a memory, you just know. Who is it that knows? That inner knowing. You just know you exist. It knows itself, it is self-recognizing, you see? So, feeling, that's feeling, knowing. And that feeling, knowing, nobody can take away. That is beyond a doubt. And that is what gives you spiritual strength, you see? The real power is that knowing that can never be shaken. So what is here and now then? We, we talk so much about it. What is that is here and now? It, it's... <laughs> It's also its opposite. It is everywhere, all the time. That's right. That's right. Because it is timeless, it is all the time. And because it is nothing, it is everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's actually... It's right. Very good. <laughs> and that's what Einstein meant by the relativity theory. Everything is just relative to it. So he said that when you begin to see that everything is relative truth and everything is therefore God, then everything is God. First you see it in the bird and the baby and the animal and next you begin to see it in shit. See it in, in, in muck, see it in, in the rain, in winter, in, in, in the cold, it doesn't matter. You see what I mean? There is nothing that is not part of that source, part of that being. Nothing is apart from that. It's all part of, of it. You judge nothing. You see? And that's, that's the beauty. <clears throat> nothing is separate from anything else. 